Okay, now all of our DNS, or not all of it, but most of it is pointing to Cloudflare, and you're probably going to want to set up a page rule or two. Okay, so here's our domain, and you want to click here on page rules. You get three of them for free. All right. So let's do that. Now, what do these page rules do? All right. So first of all, what I just did will apply to all the pages on my website. Okay. This asterisk will anything that were to come after it. If I said uh, index, then that would apply to index.php or index.html or any anything. If I put in, uh, let's say, admin, right, then that would apply to admin uh, users.php. It would apply to admin. Uh, it would apply to anything that came after it. It would apply to admin uh, panel.php, anything, right? You get it. So it's a wild card. So this page rule will apply to all the pages. And the first setting you surely will want to deal with is the cache level. Okay. By default, it is set to standard. And standard will do things like it will cache your images, JavaScript, CSS, the normal stuff. But then, if you click cache everything, that will cache your dynamic pages. For example, your PHP pages. Not your HTML pages and your PHP pages. So you have to be very careful with this. On this website here, you can see index PHP. Uh, I tested it. It does it does exactly what it says it will do. All of these uh, photos here, these apartments, they're generated randomly. Every time someone requests a page, you have a different set of apartments that pop up, right? So after you set uh, your rule to cache everything, on your edge points, right? Your Cloudflare's hundreds of different servers spread out across the globe. It will cache all of this such that apartment ID 1742, 1402, this exact page will start appearing to everybody the same, no matter what, no matter how many times they request the page, you will no longer see it. it they won't randomly, uh, dynamically generate that content for the people that request your page. Now, sometimes that's what you want but not always. And you can use your page rules to specify when this setting will apply to a particular page or here a group of pages. Now, in the case of this SpanishFrequencyDictionary.com, it's basically a static site. I want to cache everything, okay? The old, I'm going to make one exception in a minute, but for now, we're just going to stay with this, okay? So we've got cache everything. It's going to do that. Let's add another one. Auto minify. I want to auto minify my CSS, JSS, JS. If essentially, if you don't know what that means, you can look it up, but it will compress your code. All right. Um, now let's do another one. Uh, where is it? No, I don't want that. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's set this out to a month. Okay, so we've got all these. Um, and let's save that. All right, so we've got, there's our one page rule. Now let's create another one because I may want to... Uh, I may want to have a little more and let's just do 
contact.php. What do we, what do we have here on this? Oh, wait a minute. Do I have a contact? No, I don't have a contact page. I've got this. So what do I have? Oh, I have it on my about page. Um, huh. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just do uh, about PHP. So we'll put our cache level to bypass. All right. So now uh -uh, we're not going to cache this page because I might have that page be dynamic with a contact form, that, that sort of thing. And so I don't want to cache that page. Okay, so those are some basic page rules.